Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make your section background image selectively show through with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve in today's tutorial. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to start off by creating a brand new page. However, you can add this technique on even an existing page. So okay, so I'm going to come over here to pages. And then I'm going to click on add new. So you can call your page whatever you want. So in this case, I'm just going to call it section background. And then I'm going to click on use the TV builder. Next, I'm going to come over here to use the visual builder. Now I'm greeted with these three options. I either have to build the page from scratch, choose a pre-made layout or clone existing page. So I'm going to keep things simple. I'm going to go to build page from scratch. So I'm going to select this option. And then I'm just going to close this for now. So the next thing we need to do is to add an image to our background section. So I'm going to come over here to this top left into my section settings. Click on background. And to add my background image, I'm going to click the third tab like that. Click this plus button to add the background image. Now, in my case, I have my image in my media library. So if you don't have your images in your media library that you need to use, you need to click on upload files and then navigate to your folder which has your images. Okay, so I'm going to select my image and then I'm going to go ahead and click upload an image. Right, so now we can see that our image is in the background here. Next, we need to adjust our padding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into design, spacing, and then over here I'm going to activate this chain and then add zero. So by uh, activating this chain, what happens is my value here is added both to the top and the bottom. So that just may, saves me about a second of my tutorial. Okay, so now that I've added that, that's great. Now it's time to add a new row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all save this. And then over here, I'm going to click this plus button to add my row. So the columns I need are three equal columns. I'm going to select it. So before I can add any modules in, let's go ahead and add our background image to our row settings. So I'm going to click the row settings uh, gear icon to enter my settings, click on background, and I am going to add my background color. So my background color here is going to be white, like that. Next, I need to make sure that uh, this row is full width. So to do that, I need to come over here to design, sizing, make this row full width. And then we also need to activate our gutter width because we don't want any spaces between these columns. So I'm going to reduce my gutter width all the way to one. And as you can see, this row has now covered the whole section. Next, I need to add some padding. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. So I'm going to add my padding. So again, I'm going to activate my chain. And in here, I'm going to add 150 pixels. Now let's go to our blend mode. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to my filters. And under my blend mode, I'm going to change this to screen. So that's all we need to do for now. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then I need to add a text module to column one. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button and search for my text module. Select it. So as you can see, now I have text in this text module. So next, let's come over here to our background and add our background color. So our background color here is going to be white. So I'm going to click this plus button and select my white color. Next, I need to go to my text settings. So I'm going to come over here to design text. So let's go to our font weight. So first of all, we're going to make this ultra bold. So I'm going to select ultra bold like that. And the font style needs to be all caps. So I'm going to select that. And then over here for our text color, we're going to set this to black. Now, moving along on the letter spacing, let's set this to about two pixels. And then finally, for the text orientation, we're going to center this. Now, let's go to sizing. So I'm just going to scroll down here until I get to sizing because uh, we need to adjust the size of the width. So over here, we're going to set this to about 80%. And for our module alignment, we're going to align this to the left. Next, let's go to our spacing. And what we're going to do here is we are going to add our custom padding of 130 pixels to the top and bottom. And uh, to do that, I'm just going to quickly activate my chain and add 130. And this now will be applied to the top and bottom. And then for the left and right, we're going to set this to 32 pixels on both sides. So I'm going to enter 32. 
Okay, so let's go to our box shadow. So I'm going to come over here and choose my style. So I'm going to go with this one here. And um, let's go to the box blur strength. And uh, what we need here is to just reduce this all the way to zero. And our box spread strength needs to be 100 pixels. So I'm just going to stretch this all the way. In fact, we need to uh, enter 100 in here. Now it's time to add our shadow color. So I'm going to come over here and click this eyedropper tool. And my value is going to be an RGBA. So I'm going to paste the RGBA value in here like that. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors and uh, settings that I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. So pretty much this is all we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Now we need to do this to the two other modules. So to save us time, I am going to clone this. So I'm going to click this clone button and drag this to my middle column. So I need to do this one more time. So I'm going to clone it again, drag it into position just like that. So now we can see that our image is now showing through our section, which is fantastic. So we need to make a few uh, adjustments to this. So let's go into the module settings. So the first thing I need to do is to click on design and then we need to go to sizing. So right now we can see this module alignment is set to left. So this one here needs to be centered just like that. Now let's go to spacing. So I'm going to come over here and uh, we're just going to add a margin of 100. And then for the tablet and smartphone, uh, I'm just going to click this little icon here and I am going to click the tab for the tablet and I'm going to enter 200 in here and it's the same also for the smartphone. Fantastic. So I'm just going to come back over here now. Next, we're going to change our box shadow color. So I'm going to come over here to box shadow, click the eyedropper tool and I'm just going to replace this color with my new color just like that and then save. Now we need to go into our third module. So I'm going to come over here, click the gear icon to enter my settings, design. And then we're going to come over here to sizing and we're going to change our alignment to right. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing and for our margin top, we're going to set this to 200. And then I'm going to come to my box shadow color and I'm also going to change this color. So I'm going to click this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Right, so pretty much our design is done and this looks beautiful. Now, we can also add different types of blend modes. So let's choose a different one called hard light. So in order for me to do that, let's do this on a new section. So I'm going to come over here and clone this. And then I'm going to change my background image by going into my section settings, clicking on background, and I'm going to change this image now. So I'm going to delete this one first, click this plus button, and I'm going to choose this one instead. Click upload an image. And then I'm going to save. Now we need to go into the row settings. So I'm going to click this gear icon here to enter my row settings, design, filters, and then I am going to change my blend mode from screen to hard light. So now we can see that we have a totally different effect. So you can play around with these uh, different blend modes and see which effect you can go with. So let me just show you quickly where you can change these colors. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings, design, and we need a box shadow. And over here on the color, I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool. And this is where you can get to choose the color that you want to use. So as you can see, as I'm moving my color here in this color space, my colors are changing. So this is how you get to choose which color you want to use. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.